Hello and welcome back to Jimbo's PC Builds. Today it's time for part three of my first custom loot vlog. So in today's part we're going to basically go in two sections. The first is the installation of the remaining parts like the graphics card, radiators, fans and stuff. I'm not going to go into too much detail on those, I'm going to do like a bit of a montage of them putting them in and then I'll go through any challenges I had after I've done the montage. Then I'm going to get onto the section where we're planning the runs, installing the runs, doing leak testing etc etc. And then finally at the end I'll give you a bit of a guided tour of the final build and see what it looks like now. Alright, so without further ado, let's get on to the installation of the remaining parts. So with the remaining parts there were certain challenges. Um, the graphics card, I tried using a vertical mounting kit which didn't kind of work in the case that I've got. So what I had to do is I had to use the actual vertical mount that's part of the uh, Be Quiet case. The problem I was finding with that is the, the, thir the 3080 with uh, the block on is very heavy. So what I had to buy was a anti-sag bracket which was just basically a stand with a, a, that you had to tighten up and it would get help with the additional weight. It still wobbles a little bit, so I've got to be very, very careful. The anti-sag kit helps it stay straight, but you know, it would a better solution uh, would have been more ideal. Um, but I didn't want to go horizontal. I wanted to stay vertical because it really shows off the GPU, the block, etc., etc. So I've stuck with that for now. I may change that in la later. Uh, secondly, um, installation of the uh, of the actual res combo. <laughs> I tried putting the radiator in, then attaching the Punt Race Cosmo combo to it. That didn't work, so what I had to do is I had to pull the radiator out, put the Punt Race Cosmo on, and then put it in, then attach the fans. So something to keep in mind if you're going to be looking to do one of yourself. So they were the kind of really things that stuck out for me when doing the installation. So without further ado after that, let's now go through the process of how I went through um, planning the runs, put the runs in, etc. Now, all of this was recorded live while I was doing it myself, so you'll get to see the lessons I learned, etc, etc, and I'll go through those once we've finished. So I'm now going to through putting the uh, fittings in. <clears throat> I've already done a bit of a preliminary run at this, so I've laid out the fittings. So basically, you're going to need two fittings for every part. So you need two for the radiator here, two for the... Um, pump res combo, two for the GPU, two for the block and two for this radiator here. Effectively giving you a total of 10 fittings so I bought 12 originally excluding any adapters um, so that I've got two spare. Now what I also mentioned in earlier videos that um, I needed adapters so I've actually bought some 90 degree adapters from Bits Power and also from Bits Power some 45 degree adapters. I bought three uh, 50s and two 45s which as it works out with the primary run that I did um, uh, that that's exactly how many I need. So if I work my way over from um, I know I'm going to do a straight run from here to the GPU then a straight run from the GPU to the CPU block then a run from the CPU GPU block, uh, sorry, a run from the CPU block to the radiator, from this radiator to this radiator, 
and then from this this side of the radiator into the uh, inlet port there. So effectively it's going to go here to here to here to here to here to here from there to there from there to there. Now obviously as you can see I can just put one straight into the um, pump res here. I'm not tightening it all the way in for now because I'm just showing you how, how I've planned out the route. So it, it needs to go to the GPU here. Now clearly if I just put a normal fitting in here the, the, the tube is going to go and it's going to bend here. And with soft tubing I'm just worried about the bends fracturing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the 90 degree in here like so. Again I'm not putting this all the way in I'm just putting it in so far for now and then I'm going to attach the fitting to the adapter. Again not tightening it all the way. So it's going to drop a little bit because I've not tightened it all the way but you can see that now that I've got a straight run from there to there. Okay. Now from the GPU we're going to go to the CPU block. Okay. Now I could go effectively um, straight from one to the other. And that's exactly what I'm going to do, like so. It's not quite a straight run. Again, I'm not tying it up fully, but it's pretty straight. There's going to be a little bit of bend in there, but not too much. Now, to get up to this radiator here, I don't want to go straight out because it's going to come up and it's going to bend and it's going to go that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a 45 degree adapter straight into the CPU block. Like so. So now, now the fitting that I put on will angle more towards here because this is where the, the import is for this so it will go straight down. So now I'm going to just put an ordinary fitting in here for the import into this radiator. So it's still going to be a bend but it's not going to be as bad as it would have been if I'd have gone straight out from here and it would have come out and bended here so it was a double bend. Now it's effectively just going to be one single bend which there was always going to be one in there. I'm, I tried to avoid it as much as I can but um, in this case I wanted that one. Now then to get across from this radiator to this radiator if I just put one in again it's going to be a really tight bend. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a 90 degree adapter in like so and then attaching a the fitting to that so it, got, it pretty much lines up straight over to here okay now on this side I only need a straight like so so it's a oh sorry yep I actually forgot I'm putting a 45 in here rather than going straight this is probably the most difficult one to put in because I can't really see so I can't see if the fittings lined up with the threads so I just have to I might have to put my head in the way to apologize there it is so now that 45 is in now if I attach the fitting straight to that you can see that now these two are pretty much going to be lined up. There's a tiny, it's off a tiny bit, but they're pretty much straight, straight across from one to the other. <coughs> then I'm going to put a fitting in here. 
in this radiator here for the out. Again, it's not one of the most difficult ones to put in. So again, apologies to put my head in the way. I am right-handed, not left-handed, so it proves a little bit difficult. Now, the eagle-eyed amongst you will notice straight away that this is really close to this. So I found that if I put a 90 degree fitting, a 90 degree adapter in at the top, and then attach the fitting to it, Again, having difficulties with this one a little bit. There we go. So what I effectively found, you can see these two are not quite lined up. So what I need to do is to get them lined up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen up the front radiator and I'm going to lower it down. So effectively, these two will meet. I've got enough room at the bottom here in the case. I've got like maybe a finger's width. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen all the screws for the fans and then lower it down, get it bang in line with the, the, this, and then I'll be able to put a really, really short run in, but it will fit. So then I will have a run from here to here, a run from here to here, and a run from here to here, a run from there to there, and a run from there to there, which will effectively do the full cycle of the cooling build. Now what you've got to, what you've got to be careful of Oh, and I put this on the wrong one, I do apologise, it goes on this one. This is what you've got to be careful of, is that, um, and I took the cap off this as well, that was silly of me. Um, I'll have to tighten that up. In the manual for the pump res, it tells you which is the exit port and which is the in port. This is the exit port here, so this will go straight to there. So that's what we'll do. That will go to that. It is going to bend a little bit, unfortunately, because I had it on the wrong one, but it is going to go. So you need to keep that in mind with your pump res card mode. Make sure you're coming out the right one. The graphics card, it's in, out, G CPU in, out, radiator in, out, radiator in, out, and then finally back into the in, which is the port at the top of the pump res. All right, so I'm going to now lower the... Um, the radiator by the fans at the front, so these come in line. Well, let's hope for the best. So something just dawned on me. <laughs> uh, these are the things that come up when you're planning. That the actual pump rest is attached to the radiator, so when I lower the radiator it goes with it. So I've now got to think of another way of getting that to that. I've tried putting just a fitting in, but that is such a tight angle that it's going to uh, so I think I am going to have to be stuck with trying to put a smallest run ever in here and just make do with the angles that it's at because I can't think of another way of doing it without using one of the other ports so uh, potentially using one on the side in a situation actually where having soft tubing is, is going to cause me a problem. If I had hardline tubing, I could easily do a run down here and go straight into this port. Um, as it is, I can't do that. <sighs> because if I put... I could put the 90, I guess. So if I take this out... I could put the 90 on here. So if I put the 90 on the radiator, like that, I could put the there, but then I'm going to have an almighty bend from there to there. I suppose I could put it down like that, but then I'm still going to have a bend. My only other option would be to say buy two more 90s and put one there coming out this way and then one going up that way and have the tube coming down here. 
that might be the option I need to take. This is why, if you've watched any videos from Days Two Cents, he, he talks about planning being the most important thing. And he really is. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick with that 90 there. I'm going to run it down here. Run the soft tube down here for a 90 coming out here and a 90 going up that way. And then bring the tube up to here. So I've put in the two 90 degree brackets which I'll then connect up to this so now I'm going to be able to do the run from there to there. So now I've got these two brackets in I'm going to go and start doing some runs. So let's get on with that then. For cutting the uh, soft tubing I went and bought a pair of um, actual tube cutters from Micro Center. So I'm going to use these to cut the tubes after measuring them. So I've managed to get one piece of um, run on. Uh, what I did is once I'm all the fittings lined up is I tightened everything up apart from the outside shield thinking I'd just be able to just slot them on and uh, no. So what I'm going to have to do for each one each of the runs is do one end then cut and then put on because I had real trouble getting the pipe over the end of the barb that's on the fitting. That's the bad news. The good news is once it's on it's really tight and secure. Uh, so what I'm going to have to do now is I'm going to have to cut for this run and then get get it on. So I've put the pipe roughly in line. So I'm going to measure to oh crime nearly took my own finger out. So I'm going to cut and take that out of the way. And now I'm going to try and get this onto the end of the barb. Hopefully I've not cut it too short. But I've had terrible trouble getting it on. So I'm going to fight with this. Oh, and the other thing I've got to do is before I get it on, I'm glad I realised that, because that would have been fun, is by putting the cover on. So I'm going to struggle with that, and then I'll get back to you. Oh, so it took me a lot of pushing, but I've managed to get the tube over the end of the barb and all the way down to the base. So now I'm going to simply tighten up the cover to stop it coming off. So there we go. One run done. So I've got those on pretty tight. That looks pretty snug. And I got it to a good length. That ain't going anywhere. That's pretty solid. Whew. So now I've got to do the rest. So for the end that I'm going to put into the pump res, I'm going to uh, just pull it off. And what I've been doing as well is I've been squishing the ends to warm them up and loosen them up a little bit so they're easier to get on. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in a little bit and then do the second run and then tighten this one up with the cover on. So there's the cover going on like so. And then this is this unholy scrap of trying to get the end in the end of the tube, which is not the easiest. I thought I'd show you it with not onto the thing, because you know, much as I'm sure you enjoy me struggling, watching me struggle, it's not really what you call very educational. But I wanted to show you me struggling with one, so you could understand in some of the videos you'll see about putting the pipe the tubing on they make it look really simple but trust me it is not so there we go I've got that snug to the end of the fitting so I'm gonna now bring the cover up and tighten that all the way. And it's a little bit takes a little bit because obviously with the actual piping in there it takes a little bit more than it normally would do to tighten it up. So I have to bring it in to give me 
core to give me more strength. And once I attach this to over here, then I'll cut it, cut the run. So uh, roughly, if I'm going to put that on now, and then I'll be able to. Yeah, it gives me enough idea. This one I have to go to the base, so I'll cut it there. I'll give me a bit of extra room. And then I'm going to make sure my fingers are out of the way and cut. I'm just going to check that that reaches. Yeah, that's good. So I'm going to put that on there. Now I've attached it, it's easier for me to tighten up the cover that little bit, make sure the cover's nice and tight. Let's still make sure it's long enough. Yeah, easy. So now oh, cover's nearly flush. Oh, that ain't going anywhere. Make sure it's nice and tight in the socket, and bingo, there's the run. Ah, so I've done as much as I can, I'm going to have to stop, because I have got a great big kink in there. So what I'm going to have to do, uh, I think I'm going to have to put a 45 in here, so it goes that way, and a 45 in there, so it goes that way, so I get a little short run, which has got 45 at each end, which will... Um, basically keep the run straight. I've got kind of kink issues over here um, but by keeping the graphics card straight the kink comes out so this run's done. As you saw before I've got this run done so I am going to have to do a, I think I might be okay if I just do a 45 to here and then it'll be able to go straight into there so I think that runs okay, that bit's okay. I just need to put the 45 in here and then we're done. A uh, slight problem is that I'm obviously going to have to get hold of the 45, which is a bit of a shame. But I may buy a couple more just in case. Um, so I've got spares left over just in case I have other problems. But the good news is that I've managed to get these two runs in. They're nice and secure. So once I get that run done, I'll only have from the CPU to the radiator and from the radiator to the radiator left to do. This one's going to be really fun because it's so tightly, um, it's, it's really short run. So I'm going to have to measure it really exactly. Um, I might try and redo this, but with less length. Because um, might, it might be getting a kink because it's too long. So I'm going to try that first. Um, so see if that works. So I managed to get the last two runs in. This one at the top was a little bit difficult because it was one of those, if I did it too long, it would kink. If I did it too short, I couldn't get it on. So it took several tries of cutting runs and it came out okay in the end. It's almost kinking, but I've got it to the point where it's not. Then I did this run here. I really could have done with saying a, 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 like an extension or another fittings, but that would have got really expensive fitting wise. Uh, so what I did is I had to bend this pipe Again, if I made it too short, it would kink. If I made it too long, it would be too long of a bend. So I think I've got it about right. But uh, yeah, all the runs are in now. This run, that run, that run. The run to the GPU and the run from the GPU to the CPU are all in. And I don't seem to have any kinks right now. Um, so that's good. So the next stage is to uh, fill it and then do some leak testing. So all right, so let's get on for filling it. So I've used the old key to take one off the here. I'm going to fill that. I'm going to get the old trusty bottle and I'm going to fill it. So I'm going to fill it with 
Premio Chill Coolant that I bought, which is clear. But I'm also going to put in this liquid treatment, which helps protect everything inside. All right, so I'm going to fill it up now. So I've put half, about half the coolant in for now with the treatment, and I'm going to start pulling that into the pump res. So I've managed to fill up to here. So, and now's the moment of truth. I'm going to connect up the power adapter and I'm going to cycle and see get some water into the loop and see if we get any leaks initially and then top up the uh, coolant some more. So I plugged in the power, so here goes nothing. So there's some work to in the system I need to put more in. So I filled up the res, I'm gonna uh, the yeah so I filled up the reservoir, so I'm gonna run it again and then see where we can get to. Now initially I'm getting no leaks, but I need to put some more coolant in and then I'm going to run it for a little bit with some paper towel in strategic places obviously, to, if there are any leaks then hopefully it'll capture it. I think the air is coming out of the system and it's going to, there's some bubbles in the uh, pump rest for now, that was always going to happen. It seems to be running pretty smoothly, alright so I'm going to leave that for a while to uh, test. So as you saw um, from putting the runs in, um, I hit certain pro problems with um, definitely getting kinks in the tubing. With the one of the things you've got to remember with hard, putting a hard line is you've got to do the bends. There's no chance for kinking, etc., etc. When you're putting soft tubing, you've got to get the runs to the right length because if you do it too short, then it's almost going to be too straight at an angle. So I hit certain issues from the. The GPU to the CPU, there was a, there was a kink because it was an angle and I did it too short, etc, etc. I managed to sort that out, but I'll go through that when I talk through the build. You know, uh, other things like um, the, where they weren't lining up, so you can't you just do a simple bit for a short run. So I had to really think about how I was going to do each of the runs individually. So, you know, as I mentioned during the, the vlog that uh, planning is key. And not just that, but once you actually get to the point where you put in, you've got to have a backup plan on how you do other things as well. So you've got to really think about these things and try and get it right. So, yeah, I, I think it went well. So, but let's have a look at the build and then I'll come back and, you know, give my final uh, farewell. So here it is in all its glory, my final build. As you can see, um, the memory has changed since I originally did the uh, vlog. Um, the reason for changing the memory over is I had a memory issue so I had to change the kit out and put new memory in. Not a major deal, it did cause a crash of windows but um, once I changed the memory over everything was fine. The loop is running very very well. So the bend behind the GPU to the CPU I didn't have to make any changes to it. I was able to sort of like change the length of the pipe and that was it, that sorted that out. All the other loops went well, all the other runs went well. Um, you can see in there, the, the, the fluid is running well. It's been running for a long time now, so I've actually, it's actually been maybe a good few months um, bef since I've actually completed the build, and I wanted to, um, you know, run it for a while, make sure everything was good before completing the vlog. As you can see, I've got the little stand there for the GPU to help it uh, so it doesn't sag. I was able to use cables. The only thing I would say is that um, I had to use a all white uh, cables for the middle. Um, because the set I had with the black and white set didn't have three um, pa PCIe power cables, so I had to improvise a little bit. But everything, as, it, as it is, it all came out well, and it runs like a charm. All right, on to my final conclusion. So there we go. That was a walk round of the build. I hope you found it was it would look pretty good. I'm very very pleased with how it turned out. 
Um, as I mentioned, going around the build, I had issues with the memory that went after I've done the build. Um, so I had to deal with that. So it was, it was, you know, there's been slight changes to it since. But, you know, everything looks fantastic. I'm really, really pleased with it. It runs like a charm. I've not done any, like, temperature testing or, or anything else. Because, uh, really, I, I did this because I want it to look nice, you know. Water cooling these days, you know, it doesn't... Because your AIOs, etc., do such a good job, you know, now that it's very difficult to sort of get... Even with a cooling solution like this, because to be fair, the case isn't the best. It's, you know, it's... It, fairly enclosed, it doesn't allow a lot of air in, which doesn't really help. So for me, really, this was more about aesthetics and the look of it and doing it for the first time ever. You know, what lessons did I learn from, from this? Um, yeah, you know, buy more parts than what you need. So make sure you buy more fittings than you need. Make sure you get the right tubing. Make sure you get the right coolant. Do a lot of research up front before you even start doing the build. Watch as many videos as you can on how-tos in terms of liquid cool building. There's actually, surprisingly, not that many out there. Um, but if you actually go out and find them, then they're pretty handy to watch. And the other quick point I'll make is take your time. Do not rush this. You know, you see Jace Two Cents doing a liquid cool build over a couple of videos. What you don't see from that is it's taking him days of work. It's just compressed into certain videos. This took me a long time. And I'm glad I spent the time doing it because spending the time might reap the reward. The other thing I would say is what the leak testing, I did let it run for a while, but I was still a little bit nervous. There's there's air pressure leak testers you can get, which I think may be worth the investment because you know with the price of hardware, you know, for a 3080 and a 3900 k they're not the cheapest parts so you know if you get any leakage and your motherboard goes and stuff like that so for peace of mind i didn't have one but i wish i'd bought one now was one of the air leak testers up front before putting any liquid anywhere near it all right so they're the, the things i've learned if you find that the three parts uh, are entertaining and educational please uh, like the video don't forget to subscribe and if you do press the bell icon so you get notified of any future content i do builds pretty often um, I also have things like my CPU Cooler League, uh, I do like peripheral videos, etc, etc. So hit the bell icon when you get notified of those. If you've got any comments on what I've done, if you've got any questions about doing any liquid cooling, please leave them in the, in the, in the section below. And as always, take care.